Hey, welcome back. I want to show you how to add a search results page to your website. It's easy to add in the widget, the search, you know, the magnifying glass, and you type in, I'm searching for cats and dogs or whatever, and it brings a results page. And often it looks quite, not ugly, but it doesn't look very inspiring, does it? We can easily add one using the Elemental Theme Builder. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So what you're going to do is go to Theme Builder or Save Templates or wherever, and we're going to add in a new template. This is so simple, you'll be shocked by it. I'm just going to minimize myself for a second. So we're going to pick up Search Results. And in here, we're just going to call it uh, Search Results, like so. And we're going to click Create Template. Now we will get um, some basic archive templates, so you can, you know, oh god, I must have minimized myself again, goodbye. So we've got some templates over here, um, and if you've got a pro account, obviously you're going to get a lot more um, range of templates to use than the standard one. So have a play with what you want to go for. I'm just going to go, I'm just going to be really boring here, and I'm just going to go for this one here at the moment, and we'll insert that bring myself back into view. So here now what we have is an example of the results coming back and this is picking up some of like my words or categories or tags that I've used elsewhere throughout the website. So don't focus on code pen, slant and reveal and patient ninja and all of this. This is just me messing around on this test website. But the key thing is that was literally it. There are a few settings I'm going to very quickly go through but template or theme builder, uh, search results, you pick your template or you create from scratch. Okay, so this, uh, so this, um, hold on, let me just get this section in. This section over here is the archive posts. So this is something you, I probably just need to point out a bit. When you're creating like your post, um, like um, when you're creating your post archive or anything like that, you want to be picking posts, not archive posts. Okay, whereas if you're doing search results, then you want to go for archive posts. I hope that makes sense. Probably not, but I hope it does. What we're going to do now here is just click on here and just go through the very quick settings. We have a skin for classic, we have cards, and we have full content as well. It's a bit like what you would normally do with your blog post, to be honest. If I go down here, uh, obviously you've got settings for, you know, pagination, metadata. Uh, if you want to do the styling of the uh, the excerpt, the, the title, uh, do you want to have read more? Do you want to show the date uh, it was created? Do you want to show how many comments it's got? All of these settings are here for you. If I go to advanced, we have where we can now um, um, put in your own message. So if someone does a search for something and there is no result, it's going to say, it seems we can't find what you're looking for. Pretty boring, right? You can now change it to, how dare you search for that? No, think of something nicer. But you put something in there that's going to work for you or fit with the branding of your site. Again, the styling, you know, again, look, you can style all of these messages, the fonts and colors. But if you hit the cog, and we are now in the search results settings, okay, we can now, uh, you can basically preview the results, if you so want. So I could go into here and I could type in a result like code pen, and it's going to show me the results. I mean, I can see it now, but you could test it out. Now, the key bit is when you come to publish this, what you want to do is you want to add in a condition. And we want to say, um, you can either go for all archives or you can just go for search results. And I would probably say all archives, all archives is generally enough there. So if you want to do just search results, fine. Date archive, author archive, I would say all archive is totally fine. Add, make sure you've got that uh, selected and then just do save and close. And now that, when you have the search uh, widget on your website, you can now search and you'll now get a nice looking page rather than the standard boring WordPress one that gets built for you. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I hope this helps you out with doing search results on your website. Take care.